Virgo, welcome to your just in time tarot reading. If you're watching this, Virgo, trust there's a message here for you. If you're a regular, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. If you stumbled across this and felt the call to click on it, trust there's something here for you. Now, that can be the whole reading feeling like a personal reading for you. It could be that you had a question on your heart and you jumped into this reading and you find that piece here. Just trust that there will be a nugget for you. Now, uh, if you don't know me, my name is Bronya. I'm an intuitive tarot reader and I've been around here for a little while. Now, um, I'll be starting with a couple of oracle cards and then Virgo, we will head to the full tarot deck. Okay, your first card out is communication is key. It's the new moon in Gemini card. You might be dealing with a Gemini. You may have a significant Gemini placement in your birth chart. Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. So communication is the key. Now there might be something that you need to share, express or communicate. You might be wanting that information from somebody else, right? So therefore you might have to prompt them for it. There might be an answer, a message or some news coming your way. Let's go to the Dreamgate Oracle and build on this. And I have pulled a multiverse whilst this is a powerful energy. Expand your mind, quantum travel, the big picture. So whatever the situation is, you're being asked to really see the big picture here. You know, where do you want to head? Uh, where are you now in this situation? What's the gap? Can the situation take you there? You know, what are you really feeling about it? And you're being asked to expand your mind. Are you need, needing to see things from... A different perspective maybe somebody else's viewpoint or from the bigger picture perspective of your life let's keep going I'll head to the tarot now I am using the eternal alchemist tarot it is a beautiful deck it is my latest fave and I'll pop the link down below if you'd like to add that to your collection as well and I've got the hermit here Virgo that's your major arcana card for me and really, it's a, an energy of deep reflection and seeking answers and truth. You know, maybe you have been looking for that. It generally, it talks about seeking that truth, you know, within yourself or turning inwards to reflect on the information that you have. So maybe you are taking some time to figure out your next move in a situation. And generally, with the hermit, Virgo, you're looking for a deeper sense of purpose, right? A deeper connection. That could be like, you know, a soul level relationship or a job that really fills your cup and you really enjoy and you can see, you know, the path, you can see that future towards that goal that we talked about, you know, we talked about that future vision. So that's the, the hermit and often with the hermit, you know, we can want to find that new path, but we might be feeling a bit lost or a bit alone in that. And I always say, well, look, often when we go first, we take the first step or make a decision the universe will then join in the quest, okay? So very spiritual energies here as well, and I just feel that like maybe you're in a situation that is not aligning with your deeper truth, yeah, because you're wanting to get to the Ten of Cups, and that is a best life energy. It's all things, you know, abundance of happiness, family, you know, um, happiness resources met, all of that type of energy, love, yeah. But we don't all just land there, you know, often it's a conscious creation to get to the Ten of Cups. We have to, you know, make the conscious decision with awareness to move away from who and what is not leading us this way, okay? And that could look like leaving behind relationships or jobs or people that, you know, feel very abrasive for us or don't share the same core values or are not on the same page. And as we slowly do that within our life areas, we start aligning to the Ten of Cups, the, the, the future that we really want. So maybe there is some communication. Maybe you're making a decision around one of those big situations because you're really aware that you want to get to that Ten of Cups. Yeah, and maybe where you are right now isn't it. I've pulled the Seven of Swords. And this can be an energy of feeling undervalued, undermined. You know, sometimes it can be deception or betrayal as well. But I also wouldn't rule out with this card, Virgo, the self-sabotage. And that self-sabotage is when it's like, well, I just won't look at the bigger picture. I will just, you know, I'll just stay in this. It's easier or I don't want to face that big upheaval. But that gets us to the Seven of Swords. You know, we, we don't get to experience that Ten of Cups. We don't get to, 
you know, we don't get to the goal. We don't find the treasure when we follow that path. And that's why you're really being asked to see the big picture and expand your mind. And I feel that it, maybe it's in your dreams and visions that, you know, the truth comes to you. And then you might sort of try and push that aside. But eventually that voice becomes louder, doesn't it? Absolutely it does. Nine of cups. So you've got nine of cups and ten of cups now. This is the card of things coming into fruition coming into fulfillment it's emotional happiness again satisfaction contentment but you've got a seven of swords in the way a situation or a person that is just not it but you do need to navigate the five of cups to make this change because you are genuinely invested in this situation and the five of cups is you know the grieving process it's you know often that grieving process it starts with denial that's the seven of swords, staying in it and not wanting to see, not wanting to look. And, you know, then we have the sadness and we have, you know, sometimes anger and depression. But there comes a point where we reach acceptance, right? We reach acceptance and that is the liberation point. And that's often the point that we get excited about the future and excited that what can come to us if we do move beyond a five of cups situation so you're at a critical turning point here i think you've been in this situation for some time the five coming through it could have been five years for some of you yeah but the the the, the big best life energies are 100 percent are calling you i've got the ten of pentacles now long-term happiness stability and success is more important but sometimes we've got to make hard decisions to get there but look what's waiting. I mean, that is, like I said, security, stable future with loved ones, enough money, beautiful home. But you've got to really look at where you are right now and make those shifts. So communication is key. I feel like you're not, not happy in a situation. And this is your green light to start that process of potentially moving away and then moving towards what really does align at a deeper core level with your values, your vision for the future and the lifestyle that you really want to lead. That's the Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles lifestyle. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it there, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed this message. Uh, I will uh, leave some links down below for you. The first one being to my website should you want to follow up with a personal reading. Uh, I will also link my Instagram and TikTok accounts because I'm really active and interactive over there on those platforms. And um, what else? Yeah, my tarot courses. I have a free Learn Tarot Quick Guide and there are also two paid courses. One is a introduction to intuitive tarot and the other one is my signature deep dive course where I teach a full foundation and my professional reading process. So I'll leave all that for you. Wishing you the very best. Sending love and magic. Bye for now.